We're recording. What's the big square? Yeah. Uh, that's that's the actual section that it's recording, and we can change the size of that if we want to. But I think it's good enough, because that way it gives us uh, enough uh, zoom, if you will, to read the actual text. So uh, you need to log in to Podbean, obviously. And if you're not sure where that stuff is, just open up your school email account and just type the word Podbean and they probably sent you some information. If you still can't find it, just go to the part where it says log in, input, forget password, etc., etc., and they'll send you your password again or some means to change your password. You can tell when you're logged in because your username is right there. There's mine. Now what you want to do, assuming you've already created your MP3, if we don't know how to do that, we'll go back on an individual basis and look at that again. You want to, anybody who's actually done, there's no which button to click? Publish. Publish. Yes. So I'll publish a podcast. Clicky click. There we go. And this is your dashboard. It's the same terminology that the blogger uses and that sort of stuff. It's where you manage your files. So this purple little icon looks like a microphone matches up with the purple microphone icon in our garage band. So we'll click on that. There's one little weird thing you have to do here. Uh, it's with the tags. And tags, as we know, they allow people to find things on the internet because they kind of show up in searches and this and that. You don't have to put anything. Just put, you can just, it just wants you to type anything, really. Title, it could be, you know, your name, 10 minute reading, um, February. That makes sense. You don't have to put anything in the text because it's all audio. I give it a title. I love that. It's my favorite title. Now, select from account. Was that right? No. Nope. How about browse? Because if it's on our desktop, we got to find it. Browse. Now, uh, you could have a million different things. If you're not sure what it is, it might not be a bad idea to type .mp3 if you're using a Mac. And we got a bunch of MP3s, Sarah, Bard, Williams, Interview, Grade 8, Outsiders. Um, let's go with the, this, which is probably... Van Morrison. How about we just go with this? I have no idea what this is. It's probably just some rubbish. And we hit open. Make sure it is on MP3, and it will be automatically, but it is. And then I just hit publish. Hopefully that random file I picked is pretty small, and this goes quickly. It might take a few minutes. It seems like it seems like it's kind of big. But yours might take, if it is 10 minutes, it could take, you know, a minute or so. If it doesn't show you this little red thing, it's okay. It is uploading. And if it stops, it means it's done. And I think we'll pause that for a minute. Ready? Okay, so once your file, thank you ladies, uploads, it'll say right there, post saved. You click on view site, you can open that new window. And this is what your Podbean page looks like. It doesn't really matter because we're just using Podbean as a vehicle to get the MP3 player. So this was the title. And it's not there because I think there was an issue with the file size. But we can use this one down here. When it does uh, upload, you'll see this. You can click on it. Make sure it works. And it will. Record. It'll record. And then you want to click on the embeddable player this is uh, for you pay attention and it brings you to this page and we already have this video all right and then you choose either one and you get your embed code you can copy it or cut it and then this goes into the block which is our other video